Good morning, everybody, ladies and gentlemen. You good, start? Yeah, good morning, guys. I'm uh, yeah, Jason Langston, as Ethan just said, uh, one of the founders of MemeCon, and I am wrecked right now. Hello, nice to meet you. Julian Paredes, a.k.a. Metafroggy, and I am fucking fucked this morning also. So, little story about us. I have the clicker, first time of my life using that. So, um, the story started in December with uh, Jason. Actually, you know, we uh, started to, uh, to work together four years ago in a company called Boson Protocol, a little advertisement for our previous boss. And we uh, were in the same team, and basically we are really killing it together. And since then, we exchanged a lot of crap ID and different ideas on WhatsApp for more or less four years. And one morning in December, uh, one ID's, uh, ID come through, and Jason shared with me, okay, Julian, let's do MemeCon. At, first, at the first time, we were, I was like, Ah, there might be a meme coin conference, yeah? yeah, yeah. And we did a little bit of um, analysis, and his ID was a killing one because uh, we, won't, we won't be here if this ID was crap. So, and after that, we spoke to uh, John Carp. I think everybody knows who is uh, John Carp. Hopefully for us, he's as crazy as us, and he said, okay, let's meet up, and I think, you know, we said that every day for, for two months, something like that. One ticket, five events, so you, <laughs> you know that right now. So here we are, and uh, there is a lot um, going on, basically. And I think maybe you can you know, start the, uh, the explanation with the journey with Quartz, and let's go from there. So just to actually, I think go to the partners one. You just go back. Yeah, so I mean, I think just to add on to um, to what Julian was saying, um, when when we started this, it was it was quite hard to to get this up and running. Um, as a few of you know, in the meme coin industry, there's a lot of skepticism around what's being built. A lot of people, you know, maybe say that you know meme coins are all rugs or scams and things like that. But I've been in this space for around about a year and a half now, specifically just in memes, and I saw what was kind of being built throughout the space, and I realized that there was a lot of like potential to actually have people meet up and actually show you what was actually being built at the same time. And when we started this, because of the industry though and the skepticism, and this is even throughout meme coins as well, when you start to go into telegram groups and you start to talk about doing anything and that you want to partner with people, a lot of people think that you are trying to sell them something or trying to s actually scam people. This is no joke, even within the meme coin space. So we had difficulty even finding partners. So within the first kind of like month, um, it was hard. People were saying like they were kicking me out of Telegram groups. They were kind of saying, we don't even want to talk to you guys. Like, who are you? We have no idea who you are. I'd actually built a website myself, um, which I wasn't a web developer, and I built this website for MemeCon, which was the most weirdly put together website, never had done WordPress or anything like that. So people also thought it was actually a meme coin, so they didn't even think it was a conference. Um, and then from there, we actually got our first partner. They were uh, actually a Portuguese meme coin called Bird. Um, and I actually went out for a drink with the guy in Lisbon he loved the idea, and then it kind of snowballed from there. So we're now up to, I think today, currently is 76 partners that we actually got within the space of four or five months, which is amazing. Some of those partners include the likes of Gotbit, BitGet, uh, Memeland, Meme Land, uh, Crypto Banter. So we've actually got some of the largest partners within this space currently as well, which is amazing. And as part of this journey, um, we wanted to, to kind of bring something else to the conference, like a different, different thing. So another one of these ideas, and we both have different ideas all the time. We were thinking we want to launch something. We want to do something different at MemeCon. We want to do it kind of like MemeCoin related and um, have something that kind of gives back at the same time. So the idea was basically that we wanted to go and adopt a dog in Portugal. So we did this about two months ago. That dog is uh, called Quartz. He's actually living with myself and my girlfriend down here, Melen, who actually works at the shelter. So we adopted Quartz and uh, we went If to I may, yeah, of course, you, you have to turn up a little bit and to see the picture just over there. 
and uh, I think we can all agree that this dog is like a meme, right? Yeah. So, so yeah, we we adopted Quartz, and he's he's been like an absolute joy to have with us over the has been over the past few months. It's been tricky rescue dog out of a shelter, not easy. Um, and we were worried. He was ca he came here yesterday with some other dogs to try and get them adopted, and that was really tricky. But overall, successful. I think we raised some money for the shelter, right? Um, which is really cool. I don't know if you want to continue from there about yeah, the Yeah, of stuff. course. And so, um, you know, what, um, what we are trying also to do with that is to also create an IP. You know, we are trying to do a proof of concept, so how to build also a good meme at the end with, you know, charity aspect, give back to the people, and community-oriented also fun. And so that is basically, you know, the start of uh, what we think could be a good journey. So here, all over you, you have some art done by Dude will be here also on the main stage. And this also is a community story. Uh, we onboarded a project called uh, Oba on Ebaja, and they had insane art, really crazy, crazy artists. And we talked to him and said, okay, can you do you know, all the, um, the things that you can see over there, really the illustration. And also, we, uh, so this, this kind of thing, if you come to uh, our stage, you have some stickers and all this kind of stuff. And, you know, we, we talk a lot about giving back to people, things like that. But actually, if you go to your wallet right now, I guess that you have, uh oh yeah, I guess uh, you have a surprise. <laughs> Normally, we just uh, airdrop, I guess, uh, 3,200 uh, NFTs uh, just for free for you. So keep it tight to you. Because I don't know if you know Mimland, but you know airdrop thing like that, so you will be really, uh, I guess, uh, lucky to keep that close to you. And another thing also that we would like to announce today is that we just launched also an incubator for meme coins, and the first one that we the, pro the first project that we incubated called Brainfart, just also come to the main stage. You have all the creation from the content from the content creator, and the goal basically is to support meme art creation. And so we start with that, and let's see how it will how it will go basically. And we yeah, good? I mean, yeah, exactly. Just gonna quickly just say to everybody, if you haven't already come into the MemeCon stage, which is over in the far right hand corner, you should come in there today. We've got some really good talks going on. Um, and if you want to come and chat to us about anything as well, partnerships or any other future events, let us know, and we would love to chat to you as well. So yeah, I have one question basically uh, for for you here. And two questions actually. Uh, who has meme coin here in the uh, in the audience? What the fuck? Okay, mm, and who has NFT? Okay, C nearly the same people also. And one last question: Were you at the opening party yesterday or not at all? Uh -huh, more people NFTs and okay, thank you. Bye bye.